In yet another success, India this morning tested its own scramjet or air breathing engine with the launch of a rocket. Indian Space Research Organization tested two indigenous scramjet engines during the flight. The two stage engine RH-560 sounding rocket took off from the rocket port located at Satish Dhawan Space Center in Sri Hari Kota in Andhra Pradesh. Uh, actually, this technology is under development. Uh, in fact, nowhere in the world uh, people have started using it. But it is being one of the technologies that has been explored as a frontier for next leap in the space technology. So, in that sense, uh, India also uh, developing its own indigenous technology in this area is a very important step because then we will not lag behind if this technology becomes a fruitful and uh, useful uh, technology in future. Uh, if you look at the world over, uh, there are only very few countries uh, which are embarking on this uh, work. Uh, in fact, uh, we would be the third country to actually test it. US is known to have tested it in uh, 2004 and China is reported to have tested a few months ago. And now we would be the third uh, group, uh, uh, third country, third agency. ISRO would be the third agency to uh, test it actually in uh, flight conditions. Although uh, countries like uh, Germany and Russia uh, have been doing research on this and then uh, are also developing technology on this, they have not actually done, uh, let's say, the physical test. The two air breathing engines were like hugging the rocket on its side and normally when the rocket reaches a height of 11 km, the scramjet engines would start breathing air. The scramjet engine used only during the atmosphere phase of the rocket slice will help in bringing down the launch cost by reducing the amount of oxidizer to be carried along with the fuel. The scramjet engine designed by the space agency uses hydrogen as fuel and the oxygen from the atmospheric air as the oxidizer. See, if you look at a rocket, uh, what is rocket? Rocket works on a very simple principle of Newton's third law. You know, every action has an equal and opposite reaction. So, which means, suppose if you burn uh, your fuel inside a rocket nozzle and then uh, leave the exhaust, I mean, if the exhaust is uh, expanding and then if it uh, comes out through the nozzle, then in the opposite direction, the rocket is propelled. That's the very simplest, uh, let's say, explanation for a rocket. So, what you essentially need is some kind of a burning to take place within the rocket engine. Burning is nothing but oxygenation. So, you need oxygen. So, if you look at the uh, current uh, rockets, whether it is solid or liquid fuel, I mean you need oxidizer which you carry in the rocket. If you look at PSLV, uh, it carries a fuel of about uh, 225 tons of which 70 percent is oxidizer. But then there is huge amount of oxygen in the atmosphere. So, if somehow you can pull the oxygen from the atmosphere and then use it for your rocket burning, then which means you can reduce the weight of your fuel. See, the uh, scramjet is a new technology, so it has to be tested with uh, much care. So, although this current test has been uh, very successful, for uh, 5 seconds they have been able to uh, maintain the flame. Uh, which is a very, very important factor.